Unta, 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 syvää uinumaan. Lunta, 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 päälle mustan maan. Yössä, 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 öiset linnut lentää. Työssä, 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 lepää tuskat sentään. Lennä, 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 aatos inehmon. Mennä, 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 aika maata on. Could you tell us something about the origins of the commission? Uh, how did it come about and how did you choose this particular poetry? In fact, um, Eino Leino is one of our national poets or was one of our national poets in Finland. But I didn't choose his texts. It was the soprano Anu Komsi, who now long time ago made a commission for several composers just for one song. And she made a, uh, an evening where she, um, she, was, uh, she was using these new world premieres and then uh, some uh, already traditional songs which had, had been written to Eino Leino's texts. So that was the beginning of this project. Then uh, over a couple of years, I did write more songs for Anu. And uh, then uh, at some point uh, came the idea that I would, uh, those were always for soprano and piano. And came the idea that uh, they were asking for very special kind of orchestration. So then it became a commission of the Osaka festival uh, Finnish Radio Symphony Orchestra and, uh, and Casa da Musica in, in Porto. There are suggestions of loneliness, there are suggestions of the proximity of death. Um, has that influenced the orchestration of the poems in any way and perhaps even the vocal writing? Of course, I think the, um, the subject matter uh, affects the um, the um, the writing and the orchestration and um, the vocal writing is very much influenced by the um, by the Finnish vowels the the long vowels for example this you cannot uh, you cannot uh, get an idea when you read the english translation but uh, but for example uh, uh, if i would read the first uh, four lines of the first song call, uh, called Looking at You. Sua katselen silmin mä huikaistuin, kuni kaunista sateen kaarta. Sua silmäni sulkien muistelen, kuin meren laskia lehto saarta. So in, in Finnish there are these very long vowels like kaarta, saarta. And this, of course, I'm um, I'm um, I'm building the the melodic line of the of the vocal part around these long long um, vowels. What is your approach to text painting? Is this something that happens very naturally, or do you think about it a lot as you compose? Uh, I think about it, of course, because I don't want to be in orchestration always very literal, because that would be quite boring, of course, that uh, we hear the text and understand the text and the orchestra is trying to, to, um, to express the same thing. So that's not what I'm doing. I, uh, I rather take uh, certain, certain ideas of the texts and then that can influence the orchestration and and in certain points uh, the orchestra meets uh, meets uh, the text in the last song there's this very dramatic climax uh, right at the beginning of the last stanza i guess on the english words fly 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 is this perhaps the climax of the entire cycle or did you mean it simply to be the high point of that last song? That, uh, that last song is in fact the first one I wrote historically. So um, 
when I wrote one by one the other songs, I didn't yet know how I would o organize them. But uh, but first of all, what do we know what was in the back of my mind anyway? When I now see the order as it is, I think it sounds like, a, it feels like a um, climax for the whole cycle. Is there a difference in working in Finnish as opposed to, say, working with French or working with other languages that you've set? Any language is, is different, I think, that because it's um, unconsciously or not, it's, um, you know, the 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 phoneme phoneme uh, word word is so different in in French in English also in Swedish. I have used only languages which I speak. I I have not written songs to to languages I don't understand well because I uh, I think it's very important to have a emotional contact to the language and to the words for me. Um, then writing in Finnish is something very different than writing to any other language for me and uh, for a long time I did not do it. The, the language was somehow too concrete for me. I couldn't take distance and maybe after having lived so long time mostly away from Finland it gave me the, the necessary distance to to not see too closely and not feel too closely the the language, but understand its specific musical uh, possibilities. It seems like so many sopranos have sung the Lino songs, and they've been done in many different places. What is surprising for me um, is that they are sung so much, and uh, I th I thought that now once I make. Uh, song cycle in Finnish and so okay that's all uh, all my Finnish friends and uh, Finnish singers but in fact it doesn't seem to bother people to to learn them and I I've, I've heard many nice performances and with a very good Finnish pronunciation.